Welcome to Profit in Forestry. I hope you are enjoying your holiday and you enjoy this season. I want to show you another strategy that you can actually use to or trade. It's as simple as you can see on my chart. My chart is very clean. Uh, not too many indicators on my chart as you can see. Now, I would like to start uh, this uh, strategy. I will show you what this, uh, the, this strategy is made up of. And I would like to add it to my chart one by one so that you can see the setting and how to use it. Now, uh, here is what you are going to see. Let me just open my indicator list. And this is what we are going to use. Uh, uh, here, I'm going to open another new chart and then add it to one by one so that uh, we end up with this same uh, indicators on my chart. And then let me open another chart so that you can actually see the setting for each uh strat the setting for each indicator and then yes what i just did right now i just uh click ctrl g on my laptop to remove the grid in the grid all right and then uh, now the first indicator on my chart is actually uh moving average This one is eight, the first one eight, exponential and apply to close. Uh, let me change this color to, uh, to blue for now. We might change to any color later, but let's change it to blue. And this is the first one. Then the second one, we go back to insert indicator again and uh, go to trend, other trend you see moving up, we click on it. This time around, we are using 21, and I'm going to change the MA method exponential apply to close. And the, the color this time around, I want to change it to red and then increase this width a bit. All right, now we have this now. So the other thing we have done there was actually uh, MACD is MACD. So the other uh, indicator, the first one is uh, MACD, and then here is it. So the, the settings still remain. For this, I'm going to change it to black, and this, I don't need it to now. Uh, and I'm going to change the background right now, the chart background. As you can see, we didn't see this MACD because of my background. And I want to change, yes, how to change this, just right click on your screen and go to property. Under property, I want to change background to white. And then this, I would like to change it to black. So uh, bar up, let me change it to blue. And then bar down to red, blue to can do to blue also and be to red. Let's click OK. Good. We are getting there gradually. And the next indicator uh, here, the next indicator here is, is MR. So I'm going to add it right now. At this time around, you are not going to double click on it. Just click here is the indicator and drag it on top of this. OK, I've done that right now. So let me change this color to blue and the other one to red. Then increase the width, this to three and this to two. So just leave the setting the way it is. So we have this right now. So the next indicator on the, our chart, here, yeah, I think that's the last indicator is PTL. So we are going to add the try now. So here is it. PTL. So 
the setting under the setting change this one to 18 you can play with the setting and see which one will work well for you but i'm okay with 18 then the color uh this two i'm going to change it change this to blue and this to red so you can leave every other thing the way it is and here it is so let me increase uh, this so as you can see right now we have the same thing the way we have it on the previous uh, chart and here is it exactly the way it is and this this is us 30 how do i use uh, this particular uh indicator is very simple very simple indicator now since you now have uh, this tab if i tell you how to use it and uh, if you want to change uh save this template you can actually save it so that next time you don't have to start all over again it's chart you open just go to this place and click on save template so you can use any name you want you can use any name you can use a b c d for instance, and save it so you can use any name at all. Now, this is how to set up your chart, and this is how to save it as a template so that next time you just click on that uh, A, B, C, D, and the uh, chart is going to show exactly the way it is on the previous uh, chart. Now, here is it. Now, let me explain how to use uh, this particular indicator. Now, this PTL indicator does not repaint if the candle close. Immediately, this uh, candle at uh, this ball appear, this red one for itself, please do not enter when this candle has not closed. When the candle has not, this is one hour chart, uh, let this candle close. If this candle close and uh, this ball does not disappear, it's not going to disappear again. So that's why you have to wait for each candle to close before you actually place your trade. You must note that and make sure you don't enter immediately the ball appear, either for a buy, blue for buy, or red for a sell. So, and then once you see this, the next thing you do, you see this ball, the next thing you, uh, you look out for, look for this indicator, we have the blue crossing down, confirming the same signal, but when you look at MACD very well, let me just spread. Uh, so at this point for itself, this MACD is still at the upper zone, the above, 50, above zero level rather, and then until this point. So this is the right point to actually place a sell order, except if you are, a, you are an aggressive trader and they just want to place your trade the ones this ball and this one are in agreement but for me i'm going to wait for every indicator i have on this chart to actually be in agreement before i place my trade and then this is once everything's agreement place your trade and then your stop loss let it be few pips above the previous side this is the previous eye this is the previous side so place your stop loss above this and uh, write your profit to the hand by using training stop. Or you can add other indicator to this chart, like a pivot point, to actually know of Fibonacci retracement, to actually know where you are going to target. So yeah, this is how to use it. It's very simple. This is one hour time frame. And this is for a buy. And uh, at this point also, we have uh, this ball, the PTL giving us a buy signal. At this point, this is where we are going to wait for this gun to close. And this, it doesn't disappear. This is actually an agreement already there. But MACD gave us signal here after a small pullback. It gave us signal at this point for a buy. And uh, this actually deliver well also. And uh, we are seeing this. Of trends. It's a simple strategy that actually works very well. As you can see on my chart, works very well. And uh, let me
tell you also, no system is 100% accurate. Like uh, this point, you actually have everything in agreement and then this didn't go far before it hit uh, our stop loss. It didn't deliver at all. So let's check other pairs also. Uh, you can use it on any time frame at all. This is uh, US 100 and it work well also. This is US 500, uh, this is UK. It work well on all these indices. And let's check good also. It work well on good also. You can use it on any time frame. Let me check on other pair also. It actually work well. So here is NG also. I'm giving us good signal. It's a good strategy that some people have charged you for, but you are having it for free. All you have to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, chat me up on Telegram group, and I'm going to give this indicator to you. Now, if you want to use on lower time frame, like 15 minutes, yes, 15 minutes. And this was gave us a set signal here, yeah, but this was not in agreement. The MACD was not in agreement, and that's uh, I'm not going to take it. And here is buy in agreement. This sell uh, fail sell because not even fail. We are not going to enter it because MACD didn't give us uh, a confirmation. And here we have everything in confirmation. This cross the moving average. The black is above in the red for a buy. This cross and the MACD is above. And then we have it. This one also we have said uh, deliver a few pips before they going back. Uh, to, before turning to the other direction. So this is a good strategy, as you can see, very neat chart and a very good strategy to actually make money trading forest. I have tested this strategy and it worked very well. It makes money for me and I hope it will make money for you too. But just make sure you follow the rule and do not be greedy, no system is one hundred percent accurate, and that's why you have to follow the strategy. Make sure you use your stop loss and pay your profit. That come your will again. Do enjoy your holiday and happy New Year in advance. Bye.